In this video, we learn how to create a native Android module in React Native, and we're going to be using Kotlin to do that. So in the last video, we actually created Android native module in React Native using Java. For those of you that haven't seen that video, the link for that is going to be in the top right corner or in the description for you to follow. In this video, however, we'll see how we can actually use Kotlin to create a new module. In the last video, we created this calendar module. And then in our Maya package class, we went ahead and registered that module. In this video, let's go ahead and create a new module. So I'm going to create a new file. And this is going to be a Kotlin class. Let's call this module our counter module. And as you can see, it creates a Kotlin class for us. And it's detecting that it's Kotlin with this logo here at the left. You can either write Kotlin from scratch, which is the obvious option. Or the other option is you can use Java code and you can convert that into Kotlin within Android Studio. So since Java and Kotlin can work together well, there is an easy way to use the second option. So let's open up our calendar module that we had created. And I'm just going to copy everything out and paste that in to our counter module. So as we can see, it already tells us that clipboard content copied from Java file. Do you want to convert it to Kotlin code? And we can just say yes. And it goes ahead and converts your code into Kotlin. You can also convert an existing Java file into Kotlin by opening up that Java file, going to the menu, click on code. And here you can click on convert Java file to Kotlin file. So back in our counter module.kt file, I'm just going to close out the sidebar. And here I'm just going to delete out this line here, which is causing an error and also rename our calendar module. So let's just rename it everywhere. So here let's call this counter module. And in the create calendar event, let's just rename the create calendar event to create counter event. Here I'm just going to call it counter module and we'll say logged from our counter module. Similarly for our create calendar promise, I'm just going to rename that to create counter promise and save that out. So our counter module is ready. It's got two methods called create counter promise and create counter event. We're returning the name of the module using this get name method. So we can access it in react native using counter module. All we need to do is go ahead and register this module with react native. So let's open up the project folder in our my app package file that we had created. We can add a new module. So here below the calendar module, I'm going to say modules dot add new counter module. And we need to pass in the react context. Let's save that out. Everything looks good. And let's make our project. So though Android Studio was not giving us any errors, we see that when we build our app, we get an error. It tells us that it can't find this counter module. So basically, since our counter module is written in Kotlin, we need to tell our project that we're going to be using Kotlin to write our modules. So let's head over to the official documentation. I'm going to add a link to this in the description. It tells us how we can add Kotlin to an existing app. So here it tells us that when we add a Kotlin file to an existing project, it should actually give us an option to configure it automatically. But unfortunately, I didn't see that happening within Android Studio. So we're going to do it manually. So we'll come down here. So all we need to do is get the Kotlin version that we want to use and add it to our project build.gradle file. So let's do that first. I'm going to copy out this line within build script. Back within Android Studio, let's open up our build.gradle, which is a part of the project. And within this, I'm just going to add that here. I'm actually going to remove this and move it inside our ext and save that out. So once we've specified the Kotlin version, back in the documentation, we need to add this dependency. So I'm going to copy that out, come down here within dependencies. Let's paste that in. So it's going to be using the Kotlin version that we specified and let's save that out. We'll just sync the file shortly. Now let's open up our build.gradle, which is for the module. Let's jump back to the documentation. And here it tells us that we need to add a plugin called Kotlin Android and then add it to our dependencies. So one of the ways of adding it is using this syntax here. The other way to do it is to use this apply syntax that's been used here in our build.gradle. So I'm going to say apply plugin and then use Kotlin dash Android. Then we'll go ahead and copy out the implementation. So I'm going to copy out both these files, come down to the dependencies and paste that in here inside dependencies. Once we've pasted that in, we can then go ahead and sync our Gradle file. So I'm going to click on sync now. Make sure to sync both your build.gradle files that you've updated. Let's close them out. And now let's make our project. So as you can see, we've got no errors. Now let's jump into our React Native project. Here in our project, we were already importing in the calendar module. 
So just like we extracted out our calendar module, I'm also going to extract out our counter module here. And for now, I'm just going to log out our counter module. Let's save that out. I'm just going to rebuild our React Native project. Now that it's rebuilt, let's open up our debugger to check if our counter module was logged out. And as we can see here, we have this object logged out. If you open that up, we see we get create counter event, create counter promise, and the default get constants method. So that's how we can go ahead and use a Kotlin module in React Native. For those of you that want a better understanding, I've covered a few more concepts about native modules in Android in my Java video. You can check that out from the link in the description. And now we can go ahead and send out events from our module.